Hey guys, how's it going? It's Abe and Eric. Today we're going to take a look at a fun little retro style platforming game. I actually played this previously on the Xbox One when it first came out. This is Adventures of Pip. This is the Nintendo Switch version. I'm stoked. Let's check it out. Alright, so this is Pip and you start off as a little square and you can see it's like retro style graphics. Didn't you feel that shaking? Good thing you're not a ball or you'd be on the floor. Sounds like it came from the castle. I bet Finger is back. Get out there and find out what's up. Give me something to eat on the way back. All right, so we're kind of like a little Atari square pixel type of thing. This game I played previously like a few years back when it first came out, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I just wanted to check out the Nintendo Switch version and uh, see what it's all about. Of course, you know, one of the more solid uh, platforming indie games out there. So here we go. Uh, hold B, so we're gonna jump, and hold to kind of glide. So you kind of glide as the square. And uh, this is like just a the intro of the game. Kind of has like a little intense uh, vibe, of course, because the kingdom's under attack. Alright, so here we go. Hey there, Pit Squeak, how's it hopping? Get it? Your name's Pete Pit. Never mind, you should go find the guards and let me know about these skull squids. Okay, so. Skulls, squids. Alright, uh, of course we got something else here. It's like little, little pixel pieces that we pick up. Oh, look at these sprites. Look at these. Well, well, is there any way to treat Green Lady of my resolution? No need to get up. I'll see myself out. I'm done here anyway. It was unwise to try and hide Princess Adeline from me. Now that I have her powers, I control the bit stream and its limited energy. Observe. So she's taking her bits away. You see? What? You don't know about the bit stream? That life energy that flows all around us? Try to keep up. Soon the entire kingdom will be nothing but scattered pixels. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start small by reducing Peachy into a single pixel. So she's reducing everybody into small little pixels. That felt good. Do you enjoy my handiwork? King Blockhead and his square little queen. Perhaps we could write letters on your sides and a small child could stack you. Ha ha ha! Queen what is your name, young Pixel Pip? Please run and find a hero to save my daughter. I'm the hero! Alright, so now I'm going... Let's see, what's this? Save point. Alright, we're good to go. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this introduction. Look at these graphics, these sprites running around. Fire and everything. My gosh. This is an open into a game. Alright, so that was the opening. Now we're going to stage one. Let's go ahead and select it. Okay, so here we go. Nice little forest stage. Beat these guys. Let's gather some bits. Let's get this treasure chest. Oh, baby. Alright, next level. Alright, who's this guy? Thanks for saving me. Many more of us have run off from the castle. Please help find the others. Alright! Saved one more villager. Uh-oh, the queen. Small pathetic cube, why do you pursue me? Surely you understand my power. And you do this for your king? One who might use you as a footstool? Or a prop open a door? Soon I'll fix this cruel world by making everyone the same resolution. Except for me, of course. The girl's gotta look her most high death. Now be gone. Oh no! All right, Pip. Pip, Pip. So, a ghost? What's this ghost at? Is there a secret? Nope. So, a ghost is calling my name. Let's see what's happening. All right, what's this? Hello there. I didn't notice you. Thought perhaps you were a tree stump. Let me introduce myself. I'm formerly Sir Elwyn, the brave and noble knight. Protector of kingdom from the treachery of these dark woods for many years, till these filthy beetles took the land and with it my life back to the beetle. But enough about me, you Pip, you are the hero foretold in ancient prophecies. Only you can restore order to land, and with that order finally free me to my afterlife. To accomplish that, you first need my gift. Put out your hands. Ha! Sorry, I forgot. I bestow upon you, Pip, the power of the bit stream. With this, you can evolve and gain new abilities. So look, now I'm actually a real boy! I'm a real boy, and uh, I'm able to punch, and I could lower myself down to 
um, 8 bit. And uh, I'm not sure how to transform back. Pip, do you see that creature, the one that looks like a light bulb? It's actually the one because it's connected to the bitstream. Defeat these glowing beasts to absorb their pixels and evolve into new forms and abilities. It might just help you get out of a sticky situation or spiky. Alright. Boom. Alright, I guess you just need enough bits. You can wall jump? Okay, nice. Safe to return to town? Excellent, I can reopen my shop. Stop by. So, rescued another villager. Alright. I love the music in this game, by the way. This game is absolutely charming. But yeah, as I said, I played this previously on the uh, the Xbox One. Actually, I think there's a secret right here. Let's try. Yep. Alright, and I'm not sure if this... This might take me back to town, actually. I'm not sure if this is where I should be going. But why not? Oh, uh, no, never mind. It's perfect. Lots of bits. Okay. If there's anything that I like, it's it's bits. So my name's 8-Bit. Alright, I just ran into an enemy, so I'm about to die here, but hopefully... You know what? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, you know what? Let's save first. But we're good. There we go. Alright, just in the nick of time. Alright, and let's go ahead and make our way up and across. Alright, wall jump, wall jump, jump down. Whoop. Kill homie. Alright, so I had to devolve in order to be able to squeeze through the tight part. So you can see, eventually when you get all your forms, it's all about whatever form you need to solve the puzzle. So like, little boy Pip like this can't squeeze through those tiny parts, but Square Pip can, and then Square Pip can't wall jump. So I had to evolve. So it's kind of like a, um, I guess I would say puzzle platforming in a small sense. But it's it's an interesting mechanic. I actually like the game a lot. So here we go. Alright, now what? Pip, still alive, I see. Well, that's fantastic. We're going to have a conduit. These allow you to teleport to previously visited areas. Perfect for bathroom breaks. Do you need to use a bathroom? No? Okay, I mean, I could. Try to we're back to town and visit the merchant. His wares will surely help you on your journey. Alright, we're going to teleport back to town. Stage clear. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the merchant and we're gonna buy some stuff. Merchant, is this the merchant's house? Oh, here we go. Thanks for trying to save the world, Pip. Wanna buy something? Why don't you give me something free? Got loads of things for sale. What you need, tell me. Um, I can't, I literally cannot afford anything but, I mean, the village detector, okay. Uh, I can't afford anything else. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so the town, you have to rebuild it. Like, see, this is a villager right here. Um, it's all about rebuilding the town and finding everything. And it's 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 kind of a little charming story, actually. Alright, let's go to the next level. Here we go, next level, 1-2. Hardly fair. Look at the blocks right in your way. Queen DeRiza is quite the cheat. Thankfully, they made a bitstream energy, not stone. Stone would be a problem. Approach, approach them and evolve. Okay. So, approach them and devolve. Uh, but I want to get that chest. There we, there we go. Okay, let's devolve. And, oh, okay. See, so I have to devolve. And then now my problem is I need to evolve to get that. So I'm going to use this. There we go. Now back over here. Wall jump. Open this sucker. Come through. Boom. Watch out, buddy. Oh, look. Looks like there's a secret. Oh, wait, no. Whoa. 
I mean, it took a little bit of a hit, but I got the secret. Um, let's go ahead and devolve. Oh, villager. Nice. Thank you. I love rescuing the villagers. Ooh, we got an apple. Looks like there's something over here. Nope. See, I like games like this that have lots of like little secrets and knickknacks and stuff. All right, making our way. We got. We can attack down below. Here we go. Another villager? No. Nope. I was hoping it was another villager. Nope. All right. Here we go. Oh, watch out for the floaty spectral enemy. The wall jump does get a little kind of weird to deal with, but not, not in a bad way. Alright, so multiple paths. I can go up or I can go down. I think I'm going to go this way real quick just to see what's over here. Alright, let's uh, come this way. So that was definitely two paths. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, gosh. I can't get over that. Um, I think we're going to come back around. Maybe I was supposed to go up top first. Alright, so, definitely gets a little tricky. I think I was supposed to go up top first, so, let's see if I died. Yeah, okay, once you die. Alright, we're going to go up this way now. Oh, alright, secret path. Secret path hike, guys. Alright, oh. Let's get the apple, whatever that was. Alright. Oh, villager. That's what it was. I needed the villager. Alright. Ooh, save point. Checkpoint! Alright. Oh, well, okay, there we go. Now it's starting to get tricky with your evolve and devolve mechanics here. Because you gotta time it with your platforming and stuff. So you don't. Oh, there we go. We got a, we got a villager over there. A cute little fair maiden. Come here, my lady. Got all three. Perfect. And let's open that. All right. Come across. All right. Now we get to end the stage. Perfect. And uh, let's see what we got. Stage Kia. This stage is clear. So guys, you get the general gist. This this is actually such a neat and fun little game, honestly. If you haven't played it on Xbox or PlayStation, it's out on Switch now. Um, definitely an indie game worth taking a look at. You eventually get other powers, like other forms and stuff like that. And you rotate and devolve and evolve between them. It's a lot of fun. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Um, yeah. I like it. So, anyways, sub if you haven't already. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again guys for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing and don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again guys. Peace out.